How's it, Cannon Lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you can see, today we do have the Frenchman from Lyon. It is Awa. If I'm saying that wrong, I do apologize to any French fans, to any Lyon fans, or to any Awa fans. Again, if I'm wrong, I really do apologize. I really don't know how to say his name. I don't even know how to say his first name, so um, I might just call him A. I really might. But lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. Bring that Hype! Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button on this video. That's it for 1,000 likes for the future star Awa. And um, yeah, just smash it, lads. Absolutely smash it and bring that hype. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel for more reviews coming and more content coming in the future. I'm thinking squad reviews, lads. I'm really thinking you send your squads in. I review them and I give some feedback on every single player within the squad. Let me know if that's a good concept for you guys to take on board. So that being said, Awa, I'm going to two CDMs there, so we're playing 4 2 3 one I'm going to play mid calm and drop him in the centre midfield some games so we do get the best of both worlds right there. But um, yeah, Awa, he's going to play at calm in a 4 2 3 one Let's see what he does. Let's see if he scores. Let's see if he pulls the strings. Let's see uh, if he's actually decent on this game. He's a 91 rated card. Let's see if he lives up to it, lads. So not only does he have to live up to his rating, he's also got to live up to his price. He's very expensive on this game. 750 to 850 uh, on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Well, closer to 750 on the Xbox. Closer to 850 on the PlayStation. I think it's like 830 on the PlayStation as of right now. And I'm seeing as of right now as I'm recording this is like 743 on the Monday evening. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot, high to medium work rates, and he's primarily right footed on this game. He is quite small, five foot nine. He's got 72 jump and he's not that great in the air. And his heading accuracy is probably the only thing that does let him down. His card looks phenomenal. Just look at that. 87 pace. He's got 88 shooting, 90 pass, 93 dribbling, 80 defending and physical. He's in Club 80, is Awa, and some of his in-game stats, man. Take some of these in, take them on board, let them sink in your brain, because these are phenomenal from the, the, the acceleration. I literally don't know where to start. Let's start with the acceleration, move from left to right. 87 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, sensational. He's got 93 attacking position, 91 finishing for a centre midfielder on this game. That is beyond phenomenal. He's got 80 shot power, 88 long shots, 81 volleys, 82 penalties. In terms of passing category, which of course, as a centre midfielder, you need good passing. Now, he's got 95 vision, 78 crossing, 95 short pass, 88 long pass, and 90 curve, which adds curve to the shorts and it adds curve to the pass. In terms of the dribble category, he's got 91 agility, 93 balance, 89 reactions, he's got 93 ball control, 94 dribbling, and 90 composure, defending as well. He is very, 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 very versatile in this game. What I mean by that is, you play him calm, you play him centre midfielder, hell, you can play him even CDM. He is that good on this game. He's got 83 interceptions, head accuracy, it's not there with the card, and his height's not there with the card, so heading is the only weakness that this card actually has in terms of stats. Will that be the same in game? Well, you're looking the cons right now and you're saying yes it is the exact same but uh, I will speak about that in just a second lads he's got 81 mark and 81 stand tackle 80 stand tackle and uh, yeah jumping of 72 which isn't that great for someone that's uh, 5 foot 9 he's got 88 stamina sensational he's got 76 strength which is adequate enough for him cam on this game or a centre midfielder and he's got 78 aggression look at this back heel OP that was sensational man the creativity on this card it knows no bounds it literally knows no bounds he's phenomenal at creating those opportunities that was like it's a delicate subtle little back heel that just works so damn well in game you'll see it again yeah just look at that man bloody beautiful from the orange boot master uh yeah he's got orange boots as well that should be a pro in itself orange boots makes him stand out on the field it really does i see him get the ball here plant a through ball doesn't really come off on that occasion but again he will get the ball in this uh this move from Ndombele and Dombele plays on Mbappe to Awa pick that one out. The keeper didn't even move, man. He didn't even move. He was rude to the sport. He had no idea what to do. So long shots, straight away, has to be a pro. I know the patch comes out tomorrow. As like to, I keep saying, today's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. The patch does come out, I do believe, tomorrow morning. So, um... That could change a lot of things, man, especially when it comes to time finesses. You've got to hit it on the green every single time, or those won't go in. And, um, yeah, it could change a lot. But as of right now, I've got to live in the moment, lads. I can't live in the future. His, uh, his finesse shots are incredible. His long shots are nuts. And, uh, yeah, they have to be amongst the pros. In terms of the best, that's finishing ball control and dribbling is the key. Start the worst is strength and the head accuracy of 68. He gets the ball inside the area. That's a nice little finish in the bottom corner. 
of the net when it comes to pros. He's got the passing abilities of an Iniesta on this game. Possibly better than Iniesta. He's got 95 short pass and 95 vision. With the 88 long pass and 90 curve, he can bend them. He can, like, thread them through the defense. He can literally do what he wants. Aua is incredible on this game. He really is. When it comes to pace, he can keep up with a lot of midfielders on this game because he's got 87 acceleration. Very important with Aua as he pushes that guy off the ball. <laughs> Just does that, man. Jesus Christ. Behave yourself. Behave yourself, Aua. Um, yeah, he's got 87 sprint speed as well, so he can keep up and maintain that pace with a lot of players on this game. He's, um, yeah, he's passing his pace. Oh, incredible long shots and nuts. And when he's finishing inside the area, it's just as good as outside the area. Seeing all these amazing long range shots from Awa. Inside the area, he's just as good, man. He's finishing is 91 and he is crazy nutty in terms of finishing inside the area. When it comes to movement, makes the right runs at the right time every time. He's got high to medium work rates and he's got 93 attack positioning, sensational positioning and movement upon the car. Makes him like flawless, absolutely flawless is this card in certain areas. Dribbling wise, he's a great dribbler. He's very light footed. He's, he's got a low center of gravity. He's got 91 agility, 93 balance. When it comes to ball control, it's 93. The dribbling is 94. The acceleration is 87. The strength is 76. Honestly, he's so good when it comes to dribbling. It is incredible. And he's got the four star combo, four star skills, four star weakness. You can hit with his left, you can do his right, you can go down left, you can go down right, he can do what he wants on this game, Kanawa, and he's got loads of positives to go along with that. When it comes to the corner, and the only corner, and you might be thinking, uh, you're being a bit picky here, but heading is important on this game. Where you send a midfielder from like uh, free kicks and whatnot, it's going to be important to win those headers because if you don't, it could be a counter attack against yourself. Or it could be a counter attack for you if you win the head of. You look at players that's got presence on this game. Your Rude Hullets, your Patrick Vieira's, hell, your Paul Powers, they've got presence on this game. They win headers. And um, yeah, they're good in the final third as header in as well. And with the meta, slowly shifting towards crosses on this game. I reckon Awa's central cam will not win those headers. And his accuracy, if he does, won't be that good. However, if you put like another tall player there, let's uh, let's throw Socrates in the mix. Socrates will win those headers and he'll punish the opponents. Whereas Awa, I reckon with that meta, it could be completely different. So let's get in the overall rating with this card. I, I love this card, man. Love this card so damn much. And I think the reason will reflect on that. Habits got a 9.5. Vinicius Jr. got a 9.5. Will this card get 9.6 and be the best I've tried in terms of the future stars? No, he's not gonna. Will he get 9. Point? No, he's not gonna 9.4 either. He's gonna get the exact same rate, 9.5. I thought it was only fair, because with habits and with this card, there is very, very kind of similar kind of um, attributes to the card, similar game styles and stuff like that. Habits is a little bit taller, I think um, a little bit taller, anyways, and he's a little bit better in that category. But Awa is just. He's incredible on this game and deserves that recognition that Habits scores. 9.5, fully deserved for this card. 10 out of 10 stars. When it comes to value for coins, 9.2. Because although he's very, very expensive on this game, 750 to 850, he's worth it, man. He's worth it in a lot of different senses of the word. Because what you're getting back is ability in abundance. Ability in abundance. Crazy stats, crazy in-game abilities, and uh, great links as well. Links to Mbappe, links to Dombele, if you did in Dombele. Fekir, uh, for example, Lala, uh, Mendy, bloody Kim Pem. I'll go through all those links in just a second, but he's a great player for links on this game. When it comes to enjoyment, 9.5. Again, I've got a lot of enjoyment on this card, man. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. That is incredible in itself. The versatility of this card... Wow, just wow. He could float in any position on this game and be adequate enough at it unless he stops at the goalkeeper, which I, I just don't think will happen ever on this game. But um, yeah, he is very good on this game as I was. And so I do rate him very, very highly. So enjoyment 9.5, overall rate 9.5, value of coins 9.2, and foot champs rating is 10 out of 10 stars. This guy, he deserves to be in your team. He deserves to be in a lot of teams on this game. When it comes to similar players, we got the future stars, Frankie de Jong. We got the future stars. Have it. Very similar players in terms of passing with those two. And uh, yeah, the team of the year, Luka Modric, would be probably the most similar to our that I've used on this game, especially in terms of versatility uh, that this card's got. The key pro will be that versatility, uh, and the key con will be the hidden accuracy. I know, like some of you say, he doesn't really need hidden. He does in certain situations, and that's why that's in there. Best game style will be Sniper on the card, because as you can see, it goes to some cracking ratings down below. 94 right forward, uh, 94 left forward, 94 
in for um, centre forward. Um, he's got a great come rate and then 95 with a sniper in the rating per position, uh, which you do get if the chem style is applied. Uh, in terms of links, we'll take you to the left-hand side of your screen. We've got the perfect links, which could be any Leon Frenchman. Uh, we've got the likes of Ndombele, uh, likes of Feke, the likes of Mendy at left back, all perfect links to this card. So again, the links are sensational with uh, our um, They are great. In terms of strong links, they're sensational yet again. In Bappe, you could do Toban, you could do Lala, you could do Kimpembe, Rabiot. There's a lot of good links within Ligue 1 that are French. And in terms of the weak links, you can look abroad or you can look within Ligue 1 with the likes of Neymar, likes of Marco Verratti, as you can see listed down below, or go abroad like I did see. Kante, Pogba, Martial, players like that. In terms of the best players within that position within that league, Neymar comes in number one, Awa comes in number two, and Dombele at number three because I have used Dombele and I do like him. Even though I didn't do the SPC, I do rate him as a player. Theke comes in number four and Payet comes in number five. In terms of the best, in terms of the nationality and the rating, well, the position and the nationality, I should say. I don't know why I was going to go rating per position. That's probably because the, the thing on the right caught my eye. But anyways, Team of the Year Kante comes in number one. Diera comes in number two. Then we have Awa, the future star, coming in at number three. Pogba at number four. And Makaleli coming in at number five. And lads, that's where we're going to end today's review. I hope you have enjoyed today's review. I know Monday, everyone gets the Monday blues, but I hope you've had a great day. And I hope this uh, review has helped you out in some way, shape or form. If it has, if you've enjoyed it, if you just enjoy the content and you want to support me, uh, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button uh, and bring that hype. 1,000 likes is your target. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, lads. And as always, I will catch you all next time.